but Karuna didn't care to take in another star. So, I lied. I don't have any friends, or family, or a herd to welcome me back. I've been roaming on my own since then, meeting faces that don't stick around. Riptail and Cutlass have been as welcoming as two wandering recluses can, but they are twosome, fair and square. And I met you. I know it's only been just a couple of days. Having you around? I guess it made me very happy. Casco! Admitting weaknesses isn't what we are taught to do. I was ashamed. But I am truly sorry for how I acted. I panicked and stepped out of line. The lying part was bad, but how can you say you weren't brave? You were, and you're brave now. You opened your heart even though it's so badly scarred to a couple of strangers. I'm sorry for your wounds. I know what hasty decisions look like, Casco. You're not a bad soul. And I'd be honored to find a friend in you. I don't know what you are, Rooney. Is there a speck of darkness in you? Among other things. Am I a lost cause to you, Nero? You're not my friend. You're a smartass. You snore. You spewed lies about your fake buddies, yourself, and then threw those at my face to get to me. That's messed up! Mm. But you also locked antlers with that swaggering punk when it counted. And when you could have walked out to save your ego, you told us. So we're not friends. But at least now, we have a shot at becoming ones. Okay, Rooney, let's start easy. Name a food you like. Start with L. L, L... Lilies. Like that? You got it! Okay, name a place you don't like. Start with C. Hmm... Caves. I don't like caves either. Hope the seer doesn't sit in one then. Name a thing you're scared of. Start with... S. Swans. Name the most embarrassing thing you've ever done. Start with... whatever. Whoa, easy there, Snoopy. We're not friends yet, remember? <laughs> Nero, name a color you really like. Start with O. The color of I hate icebreaker games. It has to start with O, like orange. It'll take us a couple days to get to the mountain. Could as well kill some time. Yeah, yeah. Just still haven't wrapped my head around this. Being the All Gods play thing, you mean? That's what you get for being not from the old mold. I'll protect you, Nero. Gee, thanks. It just bugs me what Eerily said before we left. Yeah. I've been thinking about it ever since, too. Sure. I'll be at the sparring if you need me. Till the next time, you three. Y yeah.
got one more thing for you. The blind mama with the bird show. That wasn't a hoax. Those halves were dead as stone, yet off they flew. Now I reckon what you might be thinking. Breathing life and messing with death sound like two out of three missing stars, but find war first. Whatever you do, do not go after them without war. Please. Please talk to me. When will you grant me answers? What more can I do? Do you enjoy it? Walking this earth in your leisurely pace, listening to the shards of my heart chip further as days go by. Tell me, Star, the price you take, is it measured in tears? In blood? You already know I'm ready to turn this world upside down if needed. I've done it. Just... Tell me what you want. Tell me! For months I've walked with you, deafing myself with your silence. When will you keep your promise? Speak to me! Speak to me, Eve! Your child moves within me. list of mothers. Have you always known this, my Shrike? I thought the world was green and brown, but it's also blue. Purple, red, and gold. It's beautiful. My brother has been yanked by the antler to a direction he didn't choose, but he seems to carry his crown high. Under this new weight, my heart feels lighter than ever. On the jagged face of the mountain, my step isn't slipping. I've yet to decide if there's shame in the joy I feel. Remind me, what sort of deer was Eve with? Well, hell of ice in the big northerner. Then there were those two does with the dead halves. There was that white doe too, standing aside. Oh, yeah. How come she was so white? Never seen blinders before. They're born all white and have a hard time surviving. No camouflage whatsoever. They're often hard of sight or hearing, too. It's a pretty mean nickname now that I think about it. Blinders? She looked sad. Wow. It was an actual god performing miracles, but you had the time to spot expressions of a pretty sidelander? Well... No, uh. oh, no, 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 no! Don't touch me! Another friend of yours, Casco? No! Uh, ooh! You're all them! 
What in Crow's name are you talking about? And what gave you the idea that blindly hot-footing around is safe and constructive? The, the brutes! They killed my friends and are after me! I can't stay here! What brutes? For the love of Stone Crovens! They'll go anyone who wanders into their territory. You should run too. So, Casco, know anything about Stone Crovens? I, uh, I've only heard the name before, but we've all met a half of one. Cutlass. Cutlass. Let's just tread light. <laughs> Down! No! <laughs> don't hurt me! Please don't hurt me! I'll leave! I promise I'll leave and never come back! Have you lost your rocks? For I remember last spring they hung low and heavy. Mercy, I'll do anything. Anything? Anything to keep your life. Swallow this rock. I... I can't... I can't... It's too... Swallow this rock? And you shall walk from me and my. <laughs> Poor Pop. Heartless of me. Okay, we really need to go, guys. Guys? Hey, snip out of it! More of them. Fetch. Those giants so fast! My hoops keep slipping on this stupid, stupid idiot mountain! Run! Run! They're surrounding us! They're everywhere! Hey! Maybe they can't squeeze through these rocks! Oh, no, 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 no! Stop! Stop screaming! Run! Keep your filthy mouth off her! Go, go, go! When will you teach us, Helaves? I feel like we made a mistake by following you. We became your heels to learn how to become god callers. But all this time, you've been treating us like some errand girls. Especially after meeting them. Quit yapping. You're making my ears ring. We killed our halves for your stunt at the gathering. Thus gave up our chance at motherhood without a question. We've done so much. 
And in the end, Eve just took her light back and undid the restoration. It's time to pay us back. We've sacrificed so much for your approval. Well, that was real stupid of you, wasn't it? Since you so beg, let me educate you this once. Say, can a halfless deer speak to the sky? Can you, dear does, become god callers without your little mouthpieces, hmm? That's right, you can't! Gullible little piglets like you could never become anything more than errand girls. You were doomed from the start. All this for nothing? We can't become god callers now? You bitch! I'll force death caps down your throat! Drop it, Gita! We can't touch her! That's right. You better shape up before I get the northerner to do it for you. <sighs> well, if it isn't my wildling daughter. And the old doe keeps kicking on. What's this, eerily? You graced me with the back of your head at the gathering, and now this. Don't tell me you're suddenly missing your mumsy after all these years. We both know that fox ran a long time ago. I tell you strictly for advice. Advice, huh? Have you finally decided on taking your studies seriously? Not asking you for advice. You raise some heads at the gathering. There's folks who know what you walk with, and they're bringing war with them. And when he comes, there will be a violent end to you all. You ought to just let those stars go before that happens. <clears throat> Can't say I'm disappointed. My hopes for you to recognize the opportunity of a lifetime were always low. Don't care about your hopes for me. Gods walk among us now. The dear kind will wake up, and the world shall return to its glorious roots, where the sky spoke to listening ears. The wonders we could see, Irily. The bliss you youngsters could have. I'm not doing this for myself, you know. There won't be any youngsters if you keep this up. You're killing the world by hogging its backbone. Can't you see Hell of Ice? Look through that old grey brain of yours for once. You've shaken the deer kind enough. They're already talking. You've done your job. Let the stars go before this... <sighs> I can't, even if I wanted to. It's not up to me. You have lost two, right? In the ring? Mm-hmm. Who's pulling the strings here? Eve herself? Nah, that's the stag, Antares. He's the one keeping him here. Just how? The bastard might be an awful god-caller, but it's driven him to do some studying. Some old, ruthless things. Would he listen to you? Ha! Ah. Talk to him, mother. It's not too late to fix the situation. You understand I'm living on borrowed time, don't you? Death by loss is gentler than war. Fine. I suppose I'll offer him a word or two later. But believe you me, he won't be listening. Getting tired of this stubborn old world anyway. You'd be doing something good before you go. <laughs> Strictly advise my ass.
Hi, we're in trouble. Take your time. I want you coherent. Th that's really kind. I suppose letting us run and never return is out of the question, Dame. Uh. uh... <laughs> Grasslanders and your titles. I am Loudkill, Jaws of this family. These all are my teeth, and you have walked into our mouth. Then why haven't you jumped down on us yet? You had no qualms smashing in that crying buck's head. Such an unfair way to die, was it not? Cruel. Was this buck friend of yours? We... We, we had never met him before. And have you proof of this? How can we prove something like that? True question, Woodlander. This buck was enemy. I will not risk letting his likely allies go. My enemies crawl nowhere. We were on our way to the Sky Peak, nothing more. We, we were just passing through. Sky Peak? Yeah. We're on a damned holy mission to find the seer. Ever heard the name Karuna? We work for the guy. Such coincidence. It is not often we get visits from yours. But now I am to believe two flocks happen upon ours at the same time, yet with different motives. You may speak true, and when I become stone, Moon should judge me for killing you so unjustly. That weight I can shoulder. But in this life, I slay what threatens my kin. Grab. <laughs> no! Please don't do this! Don't you can touch them! <laughs> hmm. Drop. Did... did they tell you something? You are not what I feared. My mouth is no longer danger to you. What? Well, what did you fear? Grasslands thinks as beasts. Every year they sneak up mountain and call our pups till one day we would be no more. Shit's driving us into nothingness! This buck and his friends were just one of many of your grassland heroes. I hope you understand my suspicion. I bow for planning to kill you bloody. You are not enemy. I bow for taking your tooth. It's fine! And I for bashing in your school. Sky Peak lies within those clouds. In its caverns is tongue of our mouth. This seer you seek. Path is treacherous. But I will leave you with my bone slide. He is smart and capable. Soft heart. Mother. What? I say this with all my love. Go now. You may make it back by nightfall. Place is on. We will cross it. What's with all the bones, Bonslav? They tell outsiders to stay away, or walk in and die. Nice! What is this, Bonslav? They are welcomed. Is... is that? Buck and his friends failed to be useful in life, 
we shall be useful in death. Hides to warm elders. Bones in times for teeth and crafts. Meat left for beasts. Did you... Did you say... You... Feed the beasts? When they are fat, we eat them. I'm gonna be sick. You're so quiet, Rudy. Does it still hurt? No, I just... I'm processing. I feel you. There's some brand new visuals stuck in my head I'd rather forget. Take it easy. I'll take care of you, all right? Both. Sky Peak will ease you. Meat and tongue is rare gaft. You should treasure this. After all that skull bashing, we sure did have a reason to skip gratitude. I am not belittling your terror. It, in the end, I do understand Loudkill's caution. Killing children? That's awful. Wail of mothers is worse than any death row. But this time butchers came for nothing. Only stillborns this spring. This cry, it cannot kill. It, it's cold. It's getting harder to breathe. How could anyone choose to live this high up? Tongue has always been here. Is it often then? It has been years since Mountain accepted any of us. How can a mountain accept you? You either walk in or slip on the way. You will see, Book. I have a name, Wolf. Yes, one that your friends scream often. Of course. It's a dark cave. It is maze of countless pathways. Each is ever-changing and deceitful. Many have been lost. How can you tell the way, then? I cannot. But moon has sent you, so the way will open. With little help. Oh, I hate this. It's so dark and damp. I can smell way too many things. Casco, that's a skeleton. What are they? Rooney, are you holding my tail? Cave pups. They lead those worthy, so be polite. Kinda heartless to leave some scrawny fawns to fend for themselves in the dark. They are not fawns. They are old as rock. You know what? I'll just stop questioning anything. Nothing makes sense anymore. Are you guys okay back there? No! This is it. Grasslanders. This is owner, remember. Oh, wonderful. You've come. Tongue. Look at you, Bonslav. You were but a sickly bird bone pop the last time you stood there. Such a wonder you've made of yourself. We are humbled to meet you. These are... Yes. Gold, the silver, and the bowl. It is good to finally meet you. But thank... Thank you for, uh... 
You knew we were coming? Even me? I know much, but I only ever listen. Then, I guess you also know why we're here. Yes. For these years, I have heard the fall of stars. The first came down with a step very silent. The second fell lured. The third, the third jumped on its own. But the world seems so normal. Is this all really happening? I told you all our pups were born dead this spring. This is not normal. Tongue, they are dying. No pups to raise. No gentle death for awaiting elders. We feed and care for our old, but prey is falling short and stillborn mothers grow bitter. We have mercied sufferers by opening their throats, but too many call it murder of family. Teeth are turning against each other. I know, dear Boonslob. I have heard your cries and wept with you. But this sadness will soon be confronted. We think Eve is with a group from the Gathering. Maybe lost, too. But we were told to find war first before going after them. Why? Loss is the end of the line. You can't win without a fight. Worse yet, Eve's close presence is unpredictable. Why haven't they gone home yet? Vanity is the fall of God, sweet girl. We can touch the stars in a pool, but we can't pull them out of the sky. Either they've bowed their heads on their own, or their collar is some with strange blood. The three times walked the circle of Karuna's never-ending crown. Even loss at constant horizontal points that the last-born war runs in between them. But now that they've fallen from the crown, they're free to move however they please. This brings a great imbalance to our world. I call loss the end of the line. The swallower of pain and exhaustion. The bringer of peace. But despite its name, there's also the space where nothing ever was in this space. Eve makes her nest. Seed is the eve of life. It kicks up, spreads toward the sun, the sense of self is born. And there's another, and another, and another. Seeing comes the rivalry for space and light. I was here first! This is my son! Comes wind, rain, and thunder fire. War is the growing pains, the grief, the sadness and pride. When it bites, it will burn for a long time. This vain glory will set fair north coast aflame. It's a task to win Lord's favor, for it doesn't care to understand. Go with bravery and cunning, and go together. Far north. My aunt's mouth lives there. You've been there? We visited when I was small. And you shall visit again. Tom? Here starts your hereafter, young wolf. Bring these deer to war, and bring an end to the time's childish games. Gods are to stop down rain and thunder, not the dust of our ground. Hey, I shall. How heavy it must be, sweet boy. Yours is now the weight of the young, the old, and the bitter. You are it alone. 
Where there is gold, there is silver and gold. There is heart and there is hope. Why are you telling me all this? Because Antaras is on a surely romantic walk with his mistress again. My heels are being little bitches planning for my demise. And you just happened to be sitting there when I started talking. Oh. You've known him forever. Think Antaras would give up without a fight? No. He wouldn't do that. Not for this. Thought so. Who are they? The deer coming after us. Some gatherers with a bad taste and a death wish. Do you think they could really do it? Take Eve and Lost back and stop all this? Questions, questions. Oh, let the old door rest. There's war bring us afoot. You wish they could, don't you? I never dared imagine there was a hole in our shape in this world. I know now it wasn't a mistake. None of it was ever a mistake. Come morning, I promise. We will save the world. Is your mouth better? I can find your tooth if you want it. Oh, no thank you. It doesn't ache so much anymore. <sighs> you are so beautiful, so bright. But too small. One nozzle from me could hurt you. We can never be. I... what? I shall mourn for fortnight. Wow, wow, wow! Back off from my sister! No worries. She too shall mourn well in our care. Come, Grimjav is only joking. Are you not? Yes. Only jokes. You are leaving for far north, then. You remember its way. North? Yes. Oh! Boneslav, my littlest pup. To carry Tongue's wish is grandest, heaviest burden one could have. And I am so proud. I will give it my all. I know you will, you willful thing. I hope to see your sweet face yet. There's nothing I love more. You love me less, mother? I love you as much, brat. Watch your heart, Boneslav. It is so very dear to us. Walk strong, brother. Do you not forget me, puppy? Each round moon we will sing to you. Song I would hear even in deafness. And you. Chosen by Moon itself. No outsider has surprised me as you have. Stone Proven's respect lay warm on your shoulders. May it guard you from sharpest jabs. My mouth prays for no grasslander, but it shall pray for you. Walk strong.
through. I'm at my limit. I didn't leave my herd just to waste my time, lose my womb, and get conned into serving an ex-god caller's drug addiction. Everything about this makes me so mad. Go with high-flown Helavis, they said. She can teach you to become god callers, they said. The hag barely taught us even before meeting Antares and his does. And now we've become pure air. That Uzma too. Soft little puffball, shining bright with her pitiful shy girl act. Ugh! I can't stand that Antares doesn't see through it! What's she done to be so special? Yeah! Why is a wuss like her his pet? Eve herself is giving him a hard time. That's a good stag going to waste. Ugh! I'm so annoyed! As embarrassing as it is, should we just return to our herds? Maybe. This trip was a waste of time and nerves. It's a shame you live on the coast and I inland. You're my best friend. <laughs> You're mine. Then we'll find a way. Let's go tell them we're leaving. Later. Yeah. See if even one brow notches. Hey you! How far is far north anyway? That? Yeah, but how far? Deity. Oh, great. We picked a fun one. Come on, he just left his hurt. His mouth. That's what the titles the seer called us. You? A bull? Hey now, I'm pretty hunky. Would be in trouble if I wasn't a creature of peace. Oh uh, yeah? I'd flip you on your head in a heartbeat if you tried something. Dig, I'm bigger than you. You just have taller antlers. It's the girth that matters. Oh, spare me from that talk. How come you're so small, Bone Slav? If you don't mind me asking. I am small to you? Well, no, you're ginormous to me, but compared to your kin, even your brother, you kind of stick out. I am small because I am sick. I've always been. What ails you? My heart. What's it do? Heals me. Will you weigh us down is the question. He's helping us. Stop being so rude. What are you even doing all the way back there? Rooney? You okay? I... yes. You suck at lying. Where are you going? We don't have time for another sibling quarrel. We'll catch up. Look at me. It's fine, Nero. You're scared. Are you scared of him? Listen, I messed up back there, but I'm ready this time. Nobody will hurt you again, I promise. It's not that. I'm not scared for me. I just... I just can't get the image out of my head. You mean the buck and the rock? Well, that too. But when I saw you going limp on Boneslav's teeth... I was so scared, Nero. For a moment I thought you died. Beasts. Gods. The dear kind itself isn't all kind. All our lives we've been safe, but not anymore. Even before our birth, you've been with me. You're half my heart, Nero. I can't stand it. To think that, that you could just... just die and go somewhere I can't follow. Little frog, I won't go down easy. 
You don't know that? I know a great many things, and one of them is that you're spotting beasts in every cloud right now. We can leave our beast behind if seeing him makes you ill. We can find a way on our own with Casco. I wouldn't mind. It's not Boneslav I'm worried about. He seems nice. I'm just... scared for you. Well, I'm not. You shouldn't either. I'm the God's tool. It's gotta come with some benefits. Yet you bleed like any other. And yet I live. I feel stronger than ever. I'll even make sure you don't lose any more teeth, either. You realize it wasn't your fault, right? Of course. Come on, dummy. I'll always be with you. Here goes nothing. Again? Here are these being disturbingly chatty. And Terrace? Could we maybe talk? I'm sorry, Uzma. Now is not a great time. You... You've said that exact thing every time I ask now. All these months. I have, haven't I? I'm going crazy watching you do this to yourself. You barely eat. You barely sleep. I'm worried sick. You shouldn't waste your worry on me, Dove. You're the last thing in this world I wanted to hurt. Yet it feels like ages since I saw you smile. It's completely my fault. I'm sorry for neglecting you so badly, Usma. I'm sorry you've had to suffer. Come here. It'll be alright, Dove. When all this is over, we'll be a family again. It'll be almost like it was. Just hang on. You're wrong in Terrace. Nothing will ever be the same. What's with the sniffing? Well, Bonslav? Is he escaping? What's the damn rush? <laughs> oh. ah, I'm so sorry! Is this gonna become a thing? This better not become a thing. Oh, my back! I didn't mean to slide between your legs, you just stopped so suddenly! Coolness. Bones love. Cutlass! Again with that noise thing, Kaid. At least shorten your giant strides a little. Oh. Oh, hey! Red tail! Hey! Caskel, Rooney! Nero, what are you doing here? Did you enjoy the gathering? Riptail, you want to came leave? down and he was huge as We're fuck. going to fix the world! Babies are dying! The stars run amok! The old won't On die! On our way to far north of Burns! Uh, let's all take a moment, shall we? That's quite a story. Sounds like one of those tall tales wanderers tell. But you don't seem like the kidding type. So, what are you doing here? Just drifting? Just traveling. Cut sniffed you out from far away. Cutlass, Boneslav, you knew each other's names. How do you know each other? Oh, yeah. 
Cutlass's father was from my aunt's mouth. He mated with Grasslander who managed to carry half stone crawling. This is not often, but she was very big. Did you just call my mum fat? Yes. Right, do you tell them more about my parents' sex life, or all are eager to hear more? No, oh, I bow. It's fine. Yeah, I'm the kind of Max that gets fair bristled up. As I don't care about the bleats of any other dull tooth than this one right here. Uh, walking snark. Oh. Oh! Are you two? Yeah. Did you figure that out just now? How on earth? But you're both bucks. Good eye. Say, you got a problem with two rocks shaft and dirty? Do I go educate you a bit, big lad? I'll do it gladly. No, I... Let's all calm down again, hmm? I assume Marshlander culture isn't so familiar with, um, the vastness of love? You live in such small herds that offspring is likely very important to maintain your lifestyle. It's okay. It's common. We fielders chase bucks off our herds when they're old enough. They're meant to find runaway daughters to group up with, but... Some find something that suits them better. Love is... a wildflower bed. A thunderstorm. Here in the world, we have those who try to weed the flowers, tame the storms. While you can certainly hurt a body, you can't hurt a heart. Nero tried to hurt butterflies once. Okay, calm down, blabber snout. <laughs> it's just like that. A fool's errand. Uh, no offense, Nero. That's very cute. Jeez. Love is a wild, wonderful thing that blooms truest when you're not asking for it. It sounds beautiful. Life is beautiful. Cruel and wicked, too. But still beautiful. Didn't mean any bad about it. You're good, Nero. How are you feeling about the grasslands, bones? It is wetter and smells more, but it is still early. You never come down from the mountain? Why would we? This is land of pop hunters. It hates me and my. I do it and it's. As long as I am on your side, prepare to be treated with spite. That's right. Grassland don't like stone crovens. You got your pure little dealings, and they know some meat eating mindless beasts that like to cause unrest because we're all sadists. We're false deer, bone slav even more so than me. But you have halves just like us. Doesn't that give us the same origin? Grasslanders do not look up. They only see what their eyes see. My teeth. For what it's worth, that might change soon. No need to look up when the sky is falling, after all. Usma, have you seen Hill of Ice recently? Not for the better part of the day, actually. Or her heels, either. I think they had a falling out earlier. About what? Gita and Prue were really mad about that half thing. They made themselves barren to gain your favor, but just got tricked. I think they're just clearing things up somewhere. 
It's curious eyes in the middles not far from here. Oh, they're here for Eve? Yes, they followed us from the gathering, likely after Eve's scraps. Which is why we need to gather up and go. How vice show filled them with false hope. I overheard some whispers in the gathering. Dear, wondering if Eve could bring back the... The, um... They're stillborns. They're birthing death in Terrace. Nothing but death. With Eve here... You won't be forever, Usma. Just a little longer. If you see her of ice, tell her to prepare to walk tonight. I don't care if her ears come. You're on your way to the Red Forest? That's the plan. We visit it every summer end. The air is gentle there. Our herd might still be there. Rooney. Oh? I was planning to send them my half to tell them we're okay, but then all this stuff happened and I... I forgot. It's not too late, Rooney. Send your message. And flex a little. It's not every day that a runaway youth ends up saving the world. Don't they'd appreciate. Like they appreciate nothing else we've done. I'll send the bird later, so this might be stupid, but um, please, Riptail, before you go, if you meet my mother, please give her this. I'll make sure she gets it. How about you, Nero? Any message you want to send home? No. Yeah, I can relate. They're still not here. I'll go look for her. You stay with Eve. Can't I come with you? Hoot has great eyes. Alright then, let's go. Hoot, please find Hell of Ice. <laughs> and Terrace. Osma, please. Hell of Ice follows the gods, not you. She doesn't want to help you. Why do you still want to bring her along? I know she knows more than she lets on. She can tell me what Eve doesn't. But Eve, she spoke, didn't she? It doesn't matter. But at least finally... It didn't matter! I'm sorry. Tell us about yourself, Boneslav. If we're going to travel together, we should get to know each other. My name is Boneslav. Oh, we're gonna have a blast with this one. Blasting the ass from Boreland. Then maybe you should sit down to shield your backside. What? Let's make it a game. I'll start. Not a game again. I'm Casco, the Woodlander deserter. I like long naps and sunny days. I hate getting wet. Your turn. I, um... I'm Rooney. I'm a marshlander. I enjoy, um, swimming and eating good stuff and... and such. I really hope we can fix the world together. Heh. <laughs> Awkward much? Do it better, 
here then, dumb skull. Nero, tool of God, wolf slayer like real wolf, her deserter and detester of these damned icebreaker games. You are old deserters? Yeah, let's get into those stories later. It's your turn. I am Bonslav. Son of Jaws Loud Kill and Fang Earbust, brother of Grimjav. Weak heart gave me sheltered life on our mountain. Jaws is the leader, right? What's Fang? Grasslanders would call it right time. We have two. Other one is my aunt, Gutpool. You have uh, interesting names. Do you base them on personalities? Yes. My brother was Songmouth until Bear dislodged his jaw. He sang nice. What personality is Boneslav? I loved Bones. It's that simple. My mother was tired. Stone Crovens look pretty cool. Very shaggy. Yes. Your antlers are so pretty. Thank you. Got long dew claws. Mm. What do you eat? Not deer. That's a really... I mean, I didn't... I'm sorry, I didn't really think... Come, I am not hurt so easily. Besides, even if you grew to hate me and I you, I will give my everything to this mission. It is will of moon and its tongue. I kind of understand your wariness, but you're getting ahead of yourself. We never quite belonged in our places either, so we're not ones to judge. Remains to be seen. <laughs> I think he's found her. And let's go. Do you smell that? 